Lee Byung-hun is a South Korean actor, singer, and model who has garnered international recognition with his performance in Korean and Hollywood film. He is a master thespian whose work has received both critical acclaim and commercial success. Hailing from an affluent family, he made his acting debut at 21 years of age in the KBC drama Asphalt My Hometown. He made his big screen debut four years later in the romantic comedy Who Drives Me Crazy. However, it was the mystery thriller joint security area that made him a star. The film set a new record for the highest grossing Korean movie of all time. In the ensuing years, he demonstrated his versatility and range by taking up roles in films, such as the gangster action drama A Bittersweet Life, action western The Good, The Bad and The Weird, psychological thriller I Saw the Devil, historical drama Masquerade, and political crime drama Inside Man. At the height of his career in Korea, Hollywood came calling. He has appeared in several U.S. blockbusters, including G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra and its sequel G.I. Joe, Retaliation, Terminator Genesis, and The Magnificent Seven. Lee is an accomplished singer as well, having released his first and only album, Lee Byung Hun to Me, in 1999. Childhood and Early Life Lee Byung Hun was born on July 12, 1970, in Gwangju a city in the South Korean province of Jaeyonggi to parents Lee jong kun and Park Jae-soon. Son of a successful businessman father, he grew up in relative comfort, surrounded by a loving family. He was self-admittedly a mischievous child. His only sister, Ian Hee Lee, won the 1996 Miss Korea Beauty pageant. His love for cinema first bloomed at an early age. While he majored in French literature from the Hanyang University, he was sure that he wanted to change his field. He went on to study theater and cinematography at the Graduate School of Chungang University. Career Having finished his education, Lee Byung-hun enlisted for the 14th annual public audition hosted by the Korean Broadcast System in 1991. He was accepted and subsequently debuted on television in the TV drama Asphalt My Hometown, portraying the character of Jin Woo. Over the next decade, he would gradually carve out a place for himself, even while facing the immense competition in Korean television with projects such as Family, 1991, Tomorrow Love, 1992, Police, 1993, Asphalt Man, 1994, White Nights 3.98, 1998, and Beautiful Days, 2001. Despite his success on the small screen, the films he did in the early years of his career were forgettable. Since making his cinematic debut with Who Drives Me Crazy in 1995, he worked on one small project after another like Runaway, 1995, Kill the Love, 1996, Elegy of the South, 1997, and The Harmonium in My Memory, 1999, none of which was commercially successful. Director Park Chan-wook's film Joint Security Area changed all that. Released in 2000, the film catapulted Lee into stardom. He won his first Grand Bell Award for the Best New Actor for his portrayal of Sergeant Lee Soo Hyuk of the South Korean Army. Director Quentin Tarantino has listed the film as one of his top 20 favorite movies since 1992. He followed this with the offbeat film Bungie Jumping of Their Own, 2001. In the following year, he provided his voice in his first animated film, My Beautiful Girl, Mari. He also starred in the thriller Addicted, which was later remade into an American film titled Possession, 2009. He was cast in the Seoul Broadcasting Systems, SBS, All In, a thriller drama inspired by the life of professional poker player Jimmy Cha, CEO starring Song Haikyo and Ji Sung. Following its conclusion, Lee took a six-year hiatus from television. Not someone to rest on his laurels, Lee chose Everybody Has Secrets, 2004, a sexual comedy for his next project. He was part of the international East Asian horror film Collaboration 3. Extremes, 2004 Teaming up with filmmaker Park Chan-wook in his cut segment, he played a film director tormented by an extra from his previous films. In 2005, he shifted gears again to portray a mobster and enforcer in the crime drama A Bittersweet Life. Lee had been on the radar of U.S. filmmakers from a long time, but the live-action G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra, 2009, was meant to be his Hollywood debut. While the film based on children's toys was not considered the ideal choice to introduce a prolific actor such as him to the international audience, it did bring him widespread exposure and lead to other opportunities. In Hollywood, he shared the screen space with Bruce Willis, G.I. Joe, Retaliation and Red 2, Helen Mirren, John Malkovich and Anthony Hopkins, Red 2, 
Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator Genesis, and Denzel Washington, The Magnificent Seven. Returning to Korea, Lee starred in the crime thriller Master, followed by mystery drama Single Rider. In March 2017, Lee signed on with major Hollywood agency United Talent Agency. He was cast in the Hollywood action film Radiance. The film is directed by Patrick Lucy, who worked with Lee in Terminator Genesis. Lee then starred in historical epic The Fortress, and comedy drama film Keys to the Heart. Returned to television and acclaim. In 2018, Lee made his television comeback in historical war drama Mr. Sunshine written by Kim Ian Suk. The series was a commercial and critical success, and Lee won the grand prize at the 6th Apen Star Awards. In 2019, Lee starred in the action film Ashfall. In 2020, Lee starred in the political drama The Man Standing Next. Both films were box office successes, and proved Lee's brand power as a lead actor. Lee is set to star in political thriller aviation disaster film Emergency Declaration. In 2020, Lee is set to star in the drama here written by No Hee Kyung, revolving around NGO volunteers. As of April 2021, he is filming Um Tae-Wa's disaster thriller film Concrete Utopia alongside Park Bo-young and Park seo Joon. Other work Lee formed a management company, BH Entertainment, which manages many actors including Han Ho-ju, Go-su, Jin-gu, and Han Ji-min. He owns a shop, BHNC, which sells hats, scarves, and wallets. Lee Byung-hun is noted in the video game industry for providing his likeness for the main character, Wayne Holden, in the 2006 game Lost Planet, Extreme Condition, for the Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. Girlfriend slash spouse Lee Byung-hun has dated Song Haikyo, 2003-2004, Lee Byung-hun dated Song Haikyo a South Korean actress who gained her popularity for her roles in television dramas around the same time as Lee. Their relationship lasted for only a year. Lee Min-young, 2006-present, Lee Byung-hun met Lee Min-young in 2006 through an acquaintance. They got into a relationship and dated briefly before breaking up. They returned to their relationship in 2012. Later, Lee Byung-hun got married to Lee Min-young at Grand Hyatt Seoul in Yongsungu, Seoul. South Korea on August 10, 2013. They have a son together. After he had to clear some debts following his father's death, Lee fell into a depression. He then started to suffer panic disorders, and found it difficult to attend award ceremonies. Lee credits his wife with helping him overcome his mental health challenges. Awards and Achievements In September 2010, Lee Byung-hun was named as the ambassador for California's tourism promotion to Korea. Lee Byung-hun won the Best Actor Prize in three award ceremonies 52 N.D. Beksang Art Awards, 37th Blue Dragon Awards and 53rd Grand Bell Awards for his role in the critically acclaimed film Inside Men in 2015. He is one of the two first two South Korean actors to put the imprints of their hands and feet on the forecourt of Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood, Los Angeles, the other being veteran actor A.H.N. Sung Ki. Blackmail Scandal In mid-2014, he found himself involved in a blackmail scandal when model Lee ji Hyun and singer Dae-hee from K-pop girl group Glam demanded money from him, threatening to reveal a compromising video of him making sexual jokes if he did not acquiesce. He reached out to the police on September 2, registering a report about the extortion at the Gangnam police station. The women later admitted to the charges and were sentenced to one year imprisonment in a hearing at the Seoul District Court on January 15, 2015. Following this, there were a lot of rumors of infidelity, which Lee vehemently denied. In July 2015, he issued a public apology for the incident. 